now let's talk characters. Um, I guess we should probably start with the worst one, right? Grappler. Grappler needs to be adjusted extremely badly. This character suffers so much in comparison to the rest of this cast that it's absolutely insane. Once he gets going, it's cool, but his quote-unquote Oki don't exist because guess what? Everybody just has everybody else just has better options than him. On wake up, let's talk about his parry. I guess it's one of the things I should mention the most. It sucks. <laughs> it absolutely is terrible. Um, there is there in the in the fight with Vanguard, it does help a lot, and I do like the fact that yes, it will literally absorb your opponent into your face. And you can have, like, you could do some combos right then and there. Or mix-ups at that point. But it loses to lows. So, fighting against Vanguard, you think he's going to let me freaking go in? No. If they catch on, he's going to do lows like a madman. On block, if he, sees, if he knows I'm going to jump, because this is all mind games at this point. Guess what? He's going to poke me out the air. I think having his parry, frame one will definitely help. I know a lot of people might not like that considering, as I just said, when you do hit his parry, he absorbs the player and then puts them right in front of him. But he he needs something on fast on wake up because he doesn't have a proper reversal. You might think, oh, what about literally neutral MP special? That's not a reversal. This guy has no reversal. So make his parry a reversal, that will be cool. And if that dude, if they do that, make his parry, parry lows. Let that occur, because why in God's name is my parry just losing against lows? And people can keep me out just because of that. It makes it not optimal to use at all, honestly. Um, is it, like, bad to use it? Not really. It can help in situations, but majority of the time, you're definitely not going to use it, uh, especially fighting against specific characters. Now, obviously, in the matchup with him and Ranger, it's nearly impossible to just use it. Because Ranger is pew pew master, so you really can't do anything. You just got to hold it. And that right there is just bad matchup. So I, I can't really bitch about that. Um, but I can not bitch that if I see my man about to slide my cankles away, let me parry those cankles. Let me parry that and let me parry those cankles too. Yeah, but let me parry his slide and I'll be 100% happy, right? So, Grappler, adjust him. Uh, in regards to his speed, yes, increase his movement speed as well. His, atta his attacks alone feel sluggish in my opinion, so ramp those up a little bit and I think he'll be he'll feel really, really good. Um, and of course, we got to talk about the infinite. Uh, take it out and adjust him. Simple as that. But that's really it. That's really it about Grappler, in my honest opinion. Um, so now let's go to Berserker, and if I'm going to be 100% with you, I think Berserker is one of the more honest characters in this game. All right, because when he goes when he goes into his frenzy mode, his neutral MP, it, it it's a double-edged sword because the longer you stay in that mode, the more white life you freaking have. So it, so you wanna just expel moves when you are in that mode. But yeah, and he, there's not really much to him. He got big buttons. They do big things, and some cool damage. He has a projectile that can be stationary or an actual, you know, pew like going across the screen's projectile. I think he's actually an honest character in, in this game right now. They just gotta adjust him a little bit more. But yeah, I truly think he's an okay character right now inquisitor my goodness um chip goddess right next to freaking uh striker but she definitely takes the cake and of course we gotta just talk about the trusty pinwheel uh the one thing that we saw when her first trailer came out and we all instantly knew okay that's a set play 
uh, what can we do after it? I don't think anybody in this roster has an actual grounded overhead. But who needs that when white life is going to be a thing? When I could just throw Molotovs into Pinwheel. Hit you a little bit. Into Pinwheel. Molotov again. And just because I feel like it, Pinwheel into Pinwheel into Pinwheel. I should also mention that if you get hit by a DP or... A reversal uh, it will absolutely take away all that white life that is built up yes absolutely nerf that damn move it is it needs to be adjusted it stays on the screen for so long and people might be like oh just alpha counter like her pressure or strikers pressure or even um, Kunoichi's pressure you know walk up block is a thing, right? <laughs> Walk up block is a thing, so it's not really the best option. Um, obviously, alpha counters are has always been that way. You can be punished for doing it, but in this case, it's just like no, <laughs> no, because when you're getting hit by pinwheel in this case, after an alpha counter, guess what? Free damage. And then you're going to be put into that situation all over again. And you're going to be gaining chip damage left and right. Uh, absolutely one of the most fiendish things anybody could have done during this beta is just pinwheel to, to, to victory. So, adjust her. And I didn't play as her, honestly. But I heard from a lot of friends that, yeah, she's fine. Um, the biggest issue is her pinwheel. That That's... that's really about it um striker other than the whole gameplay section i told i was talking telling you about she's not fair the she is the only one that can do proper jump cancels into specials in in the air and continue following that up all the way down when she hits the floor i'm pretty sure you guys know about this if you guys paid attention at all um she can dive kick you and when you block that move she's not landing on the ground you can mash 5a after doing that and you're still in the air so it automatically acts as her overhead an extremely fast overhead at that so striker i don't think um she's gonna change other than like chip damage and stuff like that but she's absolutely busted. <laughs> she she's absolutely busted, man. Um, and the loops, oh my god, the loops. And it's not even like you know the infinite like grappler. It's the dive kick loops. So I'm gonna put you in that situation, right? And since you're gonna have to respect my dive kick because it trades at best, I could either just dive kick all the way to the ground grab you dive kick 5a in the air act acted as an overhead dive kick go for the low or literally do it again and then do the overhead punch it it's it's she's busted <laughs> so adjust her abilities uh on what she can do and i think she'll be fine but she was definitely one of the most fun characters in this game she felt really really good really fluid um in comparison to all the other characters I was playing. So, shoutouts to that. Ranger, I played as him. Didn't like him. His best move is to literally do the gun spiral in the air 24-7. And cancel into the angled shot. Into grenades. Um, I really can't say anything was wrong with him. Uh, I think he's an... It's going to sound bad, but I think he was an honest keep away character. I don't know what you can change about him. I mean, he even has a DP. He, as a keep away character, in comparison to Vanguard, this character has a proper DP to get you to, to get that opponent off of you. So, I, you guys can tell me what you guys think could be adjusted with Ranger. But as of now, yeah, it was annoying to fight against. But that's just, that's just you know gameplay. Uh, diff different gameplay you got striker and you got ranger you know what i mean you got pressure city into i'm gonna shoot you halfway across the screen 
and hope to God that you don't come near me. And this is also a reason why air blocking would be a killer thing to do, because if you could, that means it's just free damage when going uh, up against a ranger. Because I don't care if you're going to be throwing all this shit out of me. I could literally jump up into the air and close that gap and block your moves at the same time. So, yeah. <laughs> That's Ranger. Hitman? Um, He's awesome. I think it's safe to say that, right? I think it's safe to say that we can all agree that this character is legit a really, really cool looking character. What he does is cool. His range is OD. And uh, his... I don't what you call it mix ups, but I don't know. His his range is OD on the ground, but he has big ass range when it when it comes to air moves as well. So I don't really see anything wrong with Hitman per se. That's just my personal opinion. Uh Dragon Knight. I think she's honest. Right? I, I honestly think Dragon Knight might be an honest character. She's somewhat of a Peppa character. But during those times, I only fought like one, three good Dragon Knight players, and they were doing things all right. They would send out the dragon to scream, and right after, they would command the dragon to just start spinning so that they can have uh, enough time to run in and apply even more pressure and opening you up a bit. I honestly think she was a really, really solid character. Nothing too OP, nothing too uh, depressing as a move as well, I think. She was a really, really solid character. But I could be wrong. This is just my opinions again. You guys can tell me what you guys think about her. Vanguard. Definitely an honest character. Only issue, no DP when up close. He has no reversal options, so he dies when you're going to be applying pressure. And either they could keep that or they could change that by giving him a proper reversal. Probably has the worst super in the game as well. Because it's a vertical super. It's not horizontal or anything of that nature. It's not like an orb where Vanguard, or not Vanguard, or Striker is. Uh, grappler, see, people. some people might think Grappler is the worst one. But people gotta remember, this man is literally sucking you in like Caesar from, Perso from Persona 4 Arena. His is not that bad. Vanguard, in my opinion, was the worst super. So if they could change that or even make the hitbox, big, hitbox bigger... That'd be gnarly. But other than that, uh, I honestly don't think they're gonna give this guy much after that. After this beta, I really don't think they're gonna do much. Hell, his, his chip damage was okay at best. His chip damage was nothing in comparison to the others. But yeah, Vanguard, he's all right. Kunoichi, oh my god. Um. I fought this amazing Kunoichi when I was playing Berserker, and I'm pretty sure you guys will be seeing that very soon. That's going to be the first video I'll probably upload in terms of matches. Um, she is run forward, the character. I didn't even realize that after I summoned my frog, I could run up and do freaking 5B and continue the combo. It, it was so nutty. Her, her her tornado is basically the entire vertical ceiling. Uh, and you can't do anything about it. You literally gotta sit there and absorb all that chip damage. And it's pretty damn decent as a mix-up tool because everything is just so flashy, right? Everything is so flashy so you don't know what the hell is going on, especially when it comes to the explosions. She was an absolute fiend during this beta and I, I I really did like it honestly it was cool seeing her do stuff but it, it was not the best thing to experience against if that makes any kind of sense so she is also a chip queen and if they could lower the chip damage again I think that'll be really 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 good fire tornado I don't think should last that long it almost has the same duration as pinwheel if not longer than pinwheel so please please adjust that fire tornado you can make it even smaller or something or or lessen the explosion uh that like the toad oil bomb can do and stuff like that so that we can actually see what's going on again you could alpha counter it when there when you see the opportunity but it, but walk up block is a thing so it's just like oh no 
Which again, I'm not complaining. That's just that's just how the situation is. Um, absolutely scary ass character, but I did love seeing what she can do. Crusader. Got an anime? Um, yeah, he's a uh, all those memes online. Clearly, is going to be his downfall. Uh, this character is going to be adjusted so hard. But probably not too much. And I say this because Ag Agonos exists. Agonos is, exists and he will keep you in his area forever. But the difference about this, it's not as bad as Agonos. Uh, yeah, he puts a wall up and he'll just continuously basically do corner loops 24 7 on you. But at least the wall breaks, and if you are brave enough to even press a button or even grab him, then you can get out of that situation. Agonos, on the other hand, uh, he can put a wall in front of you and behind you. So, yeah, it's a, it's the same situation, but Crusader is a little bit more manageable. Uh, I'm not saying that it's easy to get around his, his wall of death, or wall of justice, I should say. But it's definitely more manageable, more manageable than you think. And that ends my character thoughts from the DNF Dual Beta. As of this recording, uh, the one that I'm talking to right now, this is after the holidays, and the breakdown slash thoughts was literally the day after the beta ended. So I do want to say. Apologies for making the late video, but a man was busy as you guys know if you guys watch my video um, but I also got to say I hope you guys had a good holiday and I Really do want to say thanks to people that Been supporting me ever since my quote unquote comeback with that DNF duel uh, thought video It wouldn't be a JT video if uh, a video didn't have dislikes so shout out to that but anyways, thank you guys very much for tuning in uh, and I will see you guys within the next video.